Hello and welcome back to Extra and welcome to my kitchen. Now this is where we've already made some chocolate chip muffins and the world's best and easiest meat pie. And thank you for the flurry of emails about fantastic recipes that you make at home. We just have been working through them, but one we just had to make. Now this one came from Catherine Smart. Hello Catherine. Hi Heather. Now this is the most dangerous chocolate cake recipe in the world because it's only five minutes to make, isn't it? One cup mud cake. A one Very cup easy. mud cake. There you go. Now Catherine's <laughs> eaten lots of them despite the way she looks. <laughs> and it's they're irresistible. Re is it? They're really good, are <laughs> yes. they? All right, now let's get started. You'll find all the ingredients you need in the pantry. Uh, you'll need four tablespoons of self-raising flour, four tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa, then one egg, three tablespoons each of milk and oil, three tablespoons of chocolate chips, and a small dash of vanilla extract. And that's it. It is that easy. Let's get started. Now talk me through it. The dry ingredients, first of all, the four tablespoons of self-raising flour all into right. a large mug. Not heaped ones, I suppose, otherwise it'll overflow. Exactly. Next, you'll need to add your sugar, four tablespoons. Yep. And then your cocoa, two tablespoons of the cocoa. Can I make them heaped ones so that it's really chocolatey? You're a chocoholic. I am. <laughs> That's looking good. All right. Now we add the egg. egg. We'll you give it a it. bit of a quick whisk. So you pour that in, right. along with the milk and the oil. Right. So it's quite a liquid mix, isn't it? It is, more liquid than a, the usual cake mix. It looks beautiful already. <laughs> now what? Moist. Well, Heather, we've already established you're a chocolate fan, so three tablespoons of chocolate chips. Oh, yes. Yes, please. And a dash Ooh. of vanilla essence. Oh, I love vanilla. It always makes things extra yummy. And that's it. It's a very decadent recipe. Oh, it's fantastic. Next three minutes in the microwave on a high setting. And that's it. Mm. Right, so that's cooking. Now, Kat, tell me, where did you get that recipe from? It's been passed from friend to a friend to a friend. Yep. And when do you make it? Up for an afternoon tea on the spur of a moment when you don't have a lot of ingredients in the house or just when you need a chalk fix. Chalk fix, that's like five times a day. <laughs> a word of warning though, yeah. you need to use your largest mug because the mixture will rise up when it's cooking. And sometimes and you could have a blowout. Eruption? Maybe. Not mine, surely not. Let's have a look. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's enormous! <laughs> I don't even know if I can get it out. Oh, I took the top off. Look at that! This is unbelievable! It's never really happened to me before, Heather. I don't care. It's just amazing. I'm going to taste it. You should leave it to cool before turning out and presenting it. I don't want to. <laughs> this looks absolutely amazing. I have to have a taste. What's that? Let me dust it with a little bit of icing sugar. It's like mud cake icing ice cream. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. Kat, thanks for showing us. You're welcome. Oh, you have to make this. It's on the website. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to eat this during the break and I'll see you back in the studio.